Oh, Benny too got killed. I can't respond. Holy shit. Hey guys, this is Matthias. And in this video, I want to focus on something that I've mentioned before a little bit, but I haven't made such a big deal out of it because I've been a little bit uh, uncertain of how much this actually affects uh, your performance. And honestly, I still am. 68 kills already. Oh no. <laughs> but so what's your kills per minute, huh? I don't know. It's, it's like one point something. Yeah, you wanna know. Because I was flying, and I wasn't using med packs when I was flying. Who knew your KPM is bad? Shock. I might have to use one when I bail. Fly with the med kit. Fly with the med kit. Be like June. Be like June. Oh no, I have that lags because I didn't fucking change my render distance. Come on, come on, come on, don't die now. Oh, thanks. And the moment I the moment I moved it down, I got it. I got my lags away. Yes. Same for me. Yeah. The FPS doesn't really rise, but it's not lagging anymore. Yeah. So I've been experimenting with this for quite a while now. Actually, ever since they uh, gave us that slider as an option in the graphic settings. And um, for a while I wasn't sure whether or not this actually had such a great impact on the game or if it was just my imagination because when you're playing a game there are so many different factors that play in that affects your frames per second and your performance that you can't really tell if it's that thing or another thing. Now some of you guys might wonder um, why I have such a strange resolution on my screen and that's because my screen is an old piece of shit. Now lately we've come to realize that lowering the render distance to 500 from let's say uh, 3000 or 2000 or something that at least that's what I'm flying with this massively improves your performance for infantry fights in a bigger basis. Now, you might think uh, that the drawbacks of lowering your render distance are too great and you don't want to do it so uh, well first of all I, I'll just let you know that Switching this one, um, you don't have to restart your client for it, it's a quick thing to do and uh, if you start feeling that there is a little bit of lags, uh, one of the things you should do of course is to restart your client if you've been playing, playing for an hour and a half or some such because of the memory leaks, but um, I just want to say that 500 uh, render distance is way more than you need in almost all infantry fights, I, I see no reason to have more. Except for if you uh, jump into an anti-air turret or anti-vehicle turret, for example, or if you, you know, for whatever reason spawn a vehicle and you don't want to enter your graphics options every time you uh, switch something up. So let's now just take a look at how much of the map you can see from a Vartech plant when you're changing the render distances a little bit. So this is on 500. As you can see, the fog starts uh, at the 500 meter mark. And uh, it isn't all that much of the map you can see, but uh, for combat, for infantry combat, you might want to actually be able to spot Liberators and DSFs and tanks at uh, further distances. This has to do with your and your teammates survivability. But if you are indoors, like in a biolab or at the capture point at one of these bigger bases and you know you're going to be there for a while, if you feel that it starts lagging, why not just uh, enter the graphics options? Move your slider down to 500 and uh, then you can just as quickly move it back up again once you leave this area. I notice a massive difference on my system. When I start playing infantry in a big base such as this, I lower my render distance. And instantly I feel an increase in performance. There is no way this is just coincidences. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you all for watching. Bye for now.